The Cambridge Symphony Orchestra has been in existence for 41 years. This is our 41st season. We are a community-based orchestra of all-volunteer musicians, a very exceptionally talented group of people who put on six concerts every year, three masterworks and, and two pops and a family concert. Um, the Firebird production, we've been looking increasingly at some interesting collaborations to create more bonds and, and partnerships within the community. And uh, so we're really excited to partner with Northeast Art Space uh, and do a production of the original uh, Firebird, uh, Ballet Russe, um, complete version. Usually as mus orchestra musicians, we all do the suite, which is about 25 minutes of uh, music pulled out and this time we're going to get the chance to do the whole thing. We're very excited. Well, I think this, this project is very near to my heart and very interesting having grown up as every um, little girl does, I think, uh, most girls end up at at least one ballet class here or another and, and I was actually one of the uh, young women who had uh, feet firmly in the dance world and the music world. Uh, until I, I went to high school and had to make the choice. Um, but I always have loved dance and it really enjoyed it. And um, one thing I've always loved about conducting is that conducting really has incorporated my dance background um, and pairing music with uh, movement, which is, which is a love. And um, so to come back and actually work with real dancers to me was an inevitable thing that was going to happen eventually uh, for me artistically and I'm just super thrilled that it's finally happening, happening with such quality dancers and with such amazing music as the Firebird. Well Firebird is one of the I think most amazing pieces of music written of in the 20th century. A lot of people focus on the Rite of Spring as being sort of the revolutionary piece, but the revolution was happening uh, before the Rite of Spring and Firebird was really where things changed. It has such a, a, an enormous amount of energy in, in the writing, but incredible line too, and I think that's what makes it so interesting to pair with dance is that this ferociousness of orchestral writing that takes place, for instance, in the Infernal Dance, isn't something you really see in some of the 19th century music music or dance, and, um, but you also have these incredibly long lines. So it's, it's a revolution um, that happened in music, you know, as we uh, left the Romantic era and headed into the 20th century. And I think it, it was so beautifully d displayed um, by Stravinsky's long-standing collaboration with the Ballet Russe and Diaghilev that it just seemed like the perfect place to start. Well, I think anytime it's a new thing uh, and two new groups getting to know each other. So I think anytime you have a lot of different personalities, um, everybody has to take a, a deep breath occasionally uh, and um, not manage so much their personalities. I don't think anybody's worried about that, but the unknown. I think there's, a, you know, the, the musicians will be wary of the dancers. The dancers will be wary of the musicians on a certain level. And, um, and then I think we'll work through that pretty fast in the first couple of rehearsals and we'll really start creating something special.